Okay, so I'm sure you all know about YouTube's new terms of service with all that advertiser-friendly stuff, right? Well, in accordance with the new policy, I'm going to review Pikmin. Don't worry, this is a safe space. There won't be any naughty language that could ruin your life. There won't be any violence, and we're just going to ignore all the bad aspects of the world. It's gonna be so much fun, you guys, I can't wait! Alright, so when you start a new file, it shows a cutscene where a guy is flying a spaceship, or to use the politically correct term, the SS Dolphin. Anyway, his ship gets hit by an asteroid, which we can't show you because it might be harmful to younger viewers. And it crashes down to an uncharted planet, which we also can't show you for the same reason. So it's revealed that the captain's name is Olimar, and that he was on vacation from his home planet, Hokotate. And for all you politically incorrect jerkheads out there, no, it's not pronounced Hokotate, it's pronounced Hokotate. So Olimar walks over to this weird object sticking out of the ground, but when he approaches it, it bursts out of the ground and hits him in the face, which I can't show you because it might traumatize younger viewers. Anyway, Olimar decides to refer to the object as an onion, which I think is a little bit offensive, just because it looks vaguely like an onion doesn't mean you should call it one. So it ejects a seed, which I think is a little bit too sexual for a kid's game, and Olimar picks the seed and out comes a Pikmin. Yay! But then Olimar compares the Pikmin to a carrot, which is also not really okay. Can you believe this game is rated E? The ESRB is so ignorant. So anyway, this game gives you the ability to attack innocent flowers, which is honestly just, it's just so grotesque, I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, you take these things into the onion, and it sprouts more seeds, which again, is just, it's just way too sexual, you guys. I can't stress that enough. Anyway, Olimar orders these Pikmin to help him, and they basically do his bidding for him. But now, let's just look at this picture. Olimar, a white man, is forcing those who aren't white to do his bidding for him. Is this game trying to vindicate the concept of owning slaves? Was this game made by the KKK? And guess what? They even fight his battles for him. Which, of course, I can't show you because it's just too horrible to watch. In other news, a young family of five was recently mauled to death by ISIS-inspired grizzly bears. Here's the footage. But in the end, Pikmin is a great game, and I'd recommend you give it a try sometime.